The Queensland Chief Health Officer's tone has changed. I am much more concerned, yes. Two more cases in hotel quarantine in Queensland of residents who've returned from overseas and accelerated community transmission down south. The state's emergency response looks far from over. We're probably not even halfway through this response, to be really honest. Newfound freedoms were short-lived. Patrons are no longer able to stand with their drinks at bars and restaurants. When you go into a facility that you take a seat, because that reminds you to keep your distance from other people. If we don't get that right, and it does re-establish itself in this state, there is no doubt that we will have to think about lock, further lockdowns and further restrictions. At the Tweed border, delays have been significantly reduced, but the impending addition of another New South Wales hotspot may slow things down again. People will have uh, all weekend to get up to date with this, and when the change actually comes in, it won't be at a peak period. This pair had a border pass, but police were more interested in what else was in the stolen vehicle. Yeah, yep, guns. Looks like there's some drugs in here. The Queensland man and woman from New South Wales are now facing weapon and drug charges. Just because we're there focused on keeping COVID-19 out doesn't mean we're not focused on, on our business as usual as well. Far North Queensland is set to benefit with two AFL teams spending a month in the tropics, staging at least three premiership games. Cairns folk love their sport, love their footy and they'll uh, enjoy going to those games. Police will be out monitoring nightclubs again this weekend. So too will the fun police, making sure people don't get too close. We've got our uh, social distancing stick here. We've also got our no stranger snogging stick, which uh, is a obviously self-explanatory. Francine Norton, ABC News.